ano nga ba ang pag-solve ng problems involving permutations? Yan ang pag-aaralan natin sa Module 2 ng Quarter 3 of our Mathematics 10. Okay, we have this. Analyze its word problem to identify the need needed data or data. Solve problems involving 1. We have linear permutations, then permutations with identical objects, and the third one, we have the circular permutations. Ano nga ba yung tatlong yun? Ayan. Before that, we are going to rec recall or review first our lesson last time. Ayan. From module number 1, we have this. List all the possible permutations. Naalala nyo ba kung paano maglista or magsulat ng mga possible permutations? Ayan. So let's have the numbers 1, 2, 3. Or 1, 2, and 3. Ayan. How many permutations do we have from those numbers? So we may arrange this 1, 2, and 3 as 1, 2, 3 2, 1, 3 3, 1, 2 1, 3, 2. What else? 2, 3, 1. And, tama, that is, another one is 3, 2, 1. Okay. Aside from them, there are no other possible permutations that you may uh, list or write from these numbers. Ayan. I hope, nasundan yon. So, you are going to count them. And, ilan, we are going to have Sixth number of arrangement. Ayan. So, I hope na sundan. Paano natin ipapakita yon gamit ang formula ng permutations? Let's have this. Naalala nyo ba ang formula natin na permutation of n objects taken r at a time? That is equal to n factorial divided by quantity n minus r factorial or n minus r quantity factorial. Okay. So let's have the same problem using the numbers 1, 2, and 3, yung ginawa natin kanina. From there, we can have our n, which is equal to ayan, 3. Okay, by the way, tatandaan nyo lagi na kapag pinag-uusapan ng permutations, lagi tayong meron n and r. Okay, hindi pwedeng mawala yung dalawang yan. Okay, so here, our n is equal to 3, dahil tatlo, si, uh, tatlo yung ating numbers. And then, our R, ilan ba yung gagawin nating arrangement at a time? Sa bawat ayos natin, kailangan andun yung tatlo, kaya we have R equals 3. Sana nasundan yan. Okay? O naalala nyo yung uh, lesson natin sa module number 1. Then, after this, we can solve this applying the formula, but this time, ay papakita ko lang dito ay yung shortcut na ginawa natin dati. And that is, uh, first, look for your R. Since your R is equal to 3, kailangan maglalagay ka ng tatlong numbers or tatlong blanks na multiply mo later on. So, we have uh, three numbers, tatlong blank, na magsisimula sa anong number? Sa N. Okay? So, our N equals 3. So, therefore, from 3, magbabawas tayo ng isa or less 1, 3, 2, 1. Mayroon tayong tatlong numbers doon because our R is equal to 3, kaya tatlo ang multiply natin. So, we have 3, 2, and 1. Multiply them you will get an answer which is equal to 6. And that is an, the number of arrangement that we have earlier. Kung naalala nyo yung kayo na. Tama? Okay. So, I hope nasundan yan. Let's proceed to the next. Okay. On this number 2, or second problem, we have the letters ICE taken two at a time. So, bawat isang arrangement, kailangan dalawang letters ang andon. Okay? So, how are we going to do that? Okay. This is the list or possible uh, permutations. We have IC. Okay? Correct. Another one is CI. Tama. Another is EC. What else? We have IE. What else? We have ayon CE. And the last one is we have EI. So, wala na tayong ibang makukuha na two-letter uh, arrangement 
from the from the three letters I C E. Ayan. So hanggang dyan lang tayo and we have a total of how many arrangement we have here? Correct. So we have six possible permutations. Ayan. So now, uh, review natin ulit yung ating ginawa sa formula ng permutations. We can have this. Okay? So here we have uh, n which is equal to 3 and r which is equal to Ilan at a time? Okay, we have 2 at a time. So, R equals 2. Ayan. And then, from that, we can have the formula or we can have uh, two numbers. Okay, since your R equals 2, so two blanks we from, from your N, which is equal to 3. So, 3 then followed by 2. Okay, magliless 1 lang tayo hanggang sa magkaroon tayo ng uh, 3 times 2. Here, you have an answer which is equal to 6. I hope na sundan. Okay? So, let's proceed now to the next one. So, ganun class ang ating ginagawa sa permutations. Tandaan, ang ating permutations ay ginagamit sa paghanap ng number of ways or arrangement. Okay? Uh, at tandaan din na lagi tayong mayroong N at R. Na kung saan magsisimula ka sa N, less 1, less 1, hanggang sa magkaroon ka ng numbers na kung saan uh, the number of factors must be your R. Kung ano yung R mo, dapat yun ang bilang ng factors o yung number na multiply natin. Okay? So, don't forget that. Let's proceed now to our topic for today. Ayan. Ayan. We will solve problems involving permutations. Ayan. Let's proceed now to our uh, topic for today. Uh, how to solve problems involving permutations. Okay. okay. Like what I have said earlier, mayroon tayong tatlong klase ng permutations na pag-aaralan natin for, uh, for this module. And the first one is the linear permutation. Let's have this example. So, here, in a class of Miss Lopez, suppose there will be an election. In how many ways can a president, a treasurer, and a secretary be chosen from among seven candidates? Okay? So, uh, before you solve a word problem in mathematics, ang gagawin natin dyan, we are going to analyze. Okay? Siyempre, pag nagsusolve tayo ng problem, uh, hindi natin alam kung ano yung formula ang gagamitin natin sa math. We are going to get some clue words or keywords. Here, we'll focus on in how many ways. Okay. So, pag binabanggit yung o tinatanong yung how many ways, you are asked how many possible arrangement. At kapag nabanggit yung ways or arrangement, ano ang gagamitin natin? Tama. That is all about permutation. Okay, so now, we are going to use permutation from this. At kapag permutation ang gagamitin natin, we must have our N and R. So, dapat andun yung dalawa. Okay, so let's have now. What must be our N and R? Okay. Ang ating N, yung pagkukunan natin ng arrangement. So, sigurado tayo na ang N natin dyan ay 7 because we are going to get our arrangement from 7 candidates. So our n must be equal to 7. We are going to use this formula later on and then our r must be equal to 3. Okay, bakit 3? Because ang kukunin natin ay president, secret treasurer and secretary. So kailangan pag isang ayos mo andun yung tatlo. Okay, I will repeat. In one arrangement or one way, andun yung president, yung treasurer, and secretary. So, it means to say, your R must be equal to 3. Because you are going to use 3 at a time. Okay, very good. So, now, kapag mayroon ka ng R and N, madali na ang pag-compute ng ating permutation. Okay, so how is it? Our N equals 7. So, mag-start tayo ng 7. Magmumultiply tayo ng tatlong numbers. So, 7, 6, 5. Okay, laging less 1, less 1, ganon. And then, we will now, we will simply get the product of this, odd, of these numbers. 
we'll get an answer which is equal to 210. Okay. So, I hope you got the first example for this lesson. Okay. So, I, let's proceed now to the next one. Another example. The difference between U.S. and the Philippine zip code is that the U.S. zip code comprises five digits. Ayon. And it says here, assume we, we, we use the five digits zip code of a, uh, of a place in the U.S. How many different zip codes can be made with the digits 0 to 9? If no digits is used more than once and first and the first digit is not zero. Okay? So before we proceed to before we proceed answering the problem, first you must analyze it. Anong formula ang gagamitin natin diyan? Okay? So hanap tayo ng keyword. Sabi diyan, how many different zip codes? Nagkakaroon ka ng arrangement diyan. Eh sir, wala namang binanggit na arrangement. You are going to connect it with our lesson or with some concepts in mathematics. Ang tanong kasi diyan is how many different zip codes can be made? So it means to say, uh, you are looking for the number of ways, okay? Or number of arrangement. And exactly, you are going to use permutation from this. Okay, or for this problem. Now, sabi ko kanina, ang permutation, laging dapat ay meron tayong N and R. But before this, uh, before we solve further, we must go or consider the condition. Okay. Ang condition dyan, uh, if no digit is used more than once, so no repetition, hindi na pwedeng umulit. Ang nagamit na ay hindi na pwedeng gamitin ulit. Okay, ano yung num numbers na pwede natin gamitin? From 0 to 9. Okay, yun yung mga digits natin. So, therefore, how many digits we can use for this? Okay, correct. Mayroon tayong sampo. Ano uli yun? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, we have 10 digits that we can use for this problem. Okay? And aside from that, mayroon pang condition. Okay, hindi naman tayo pinapahirapan dito. Mayroon pang kondisyon na dinagdag lang. Okay, ang sabi dito, the first is not zero. What does it mean? Any number can be used on the first digit. Remember, five digits ang pwede natin gamitin. Okay, so yung five digits na yon, ang unang number doon must be not zero. Okay, kung hindi siya zero, hindi pwede ang zero, ano siya? O ano ang pwede gamitin numbers doon or digits? Very good. So, pwede ang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? So, ilang numbers ang pwede magamit? 9 sa first digit. Okay? Tandaan nyo, ganun po ang ating gagawin mamaya. Okay? Now, let's start prob uh, solving the problem. But before that, let me remind you that if what uh, every time that you will solve problems on permutations, Katulad nito, mayroon tayong 5 digits. Maglalagay muna kayo sa inyong imagination ng 5 blanks. Okay. Na paglalagyan nyo ng mga digits na yon, Okay ba yun? So, we have 5 blanks na kung saan, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th blank, mayroon kang 5 numbers na multiply. Kasi nga, 5 digits ang zip code natin. At ang una doon, doon mo ilalagay yung anong number? 9. Bakit uli 9 yung unang number? Because mayroon tayong 9 numbers na pwede mong ilagay na hindi po 0. Kasi sabi dyan, the first must be not 0. Okay? So, the first blank natin ay 9. Tapos, ano yung gagawin natin sa next 4? Yung susunod na 4, doon tayo magkakaroon ng permutation. Again, Doon, sa next four numbers, magkakaroon ng permutations. Nakaset agad yung first. Okay. Ang pinag-uusapan na lang natin ngayon ay yung next four. Next four digits. Okay. Ang gagamitin natin doon ay uh, numbers from 0 
to 9. Pero tandaan, hindi na pwedeng gamitin ang ginamit na doon sa nauna. Okay. So, kung mayroon tayong 10 digits that can be used na gamit na yung isa sa unahan, mayroon na lang tayong natitirang ilan? Very good. So, we have 9 digits remaining. Okay. Yun ang ating N ng permutation na gagamitin natin para sa next four blanks. Okay? So, we have now a permutation of 9 taken taken 4 at a time. Bakit 4? Kasi apat na lang yung natitirang blanks natin. Okay? So, permutation of 9 taken 4 para dun sa apat na blanks natitira at dun sa unang blank and doon ang ating 9. Okay? So, let's have this, the solution. Our n equals 9 and our r equals 4. Yan ay para doon sa uh, natitirang apat. At syempre, wag na wag kalilimutan yung unang blank. Nandun ang 9 natin. Ano uli yung 9 na yon? Yun ang numbers or digits na pwede nating ilagay doon sa first blank. Hindi kasama doon ang 0. Okay? So, now, multiply natin yung 9 doon sa permutation of 9 taken 4 kasa apat na blanks. So, nagsima tayo sa 9 followed by 8, 7, 6. Okay. I hope, tasundan yan. Okay. After this, we have 9 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6. It will be easy for us to use our basic mathematics. Okay. Just multiply them all. You will get an answer which is equal to 27,216. Okay. So, I hope, nasundan yan. Let's proceed now to the third one. Okay? So, another problem. Okay. Mas madali ito kaysa yung number 2 kanina. How many four-letter words can be formed from the letter journal? Okay. From that word journal or seven-letter word, take note, kailangan alamin mo kung ilan yung bilang ng letters sa word na yan. Okay? Because here we are going to use permutation again. Kasi magkakaroon tayo ng arrangement. So, therefore, mayroon tayong n at yun ay equal sa 7 because you are going to get the number of letters in the word journal. Okay? And then, how, what is our r taken at a time? We will use four letter words or four letters at a time. So, our n equals 7 and our r equals 4. Ganun lang po yung kasimple. Once na nakapag-set ka na ng n and r, it will be easy for you to solve the problem on this permutation, on this kind of problem of permutation. Okay? So, after this, just substitution, and like what we did earlier, we are going to okay, substitute, and then we have 7, that is your n. Kailangan apat yung numbers na multiply natin, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, very good kayo dyan. And then, our answer must be equal to 840. Okay. Very good. Okay. Ganun lang ang pag-solve ng linear permutations. Okay. Madali lang, di ba? Kailangan lang natin dito ng practice. Okay. So, now, we will proceed to another kind of permutation. And this time, this is about permutation with identical objects. Ayan. Yun ay yung may magkakaparehong letters or objects or numbers or anything basta mayroong same or identical uh, element. Okay. Let's have this. Example. Okay. This time, we cannot use our formula that we used earlier, we have another formula because re we are referring here to another kind of permutation. So, another formula must be used here. Okay? So, we have permutation is equal to n factorial over a factorial times b factorial times c factorial and so on. If you have many identical objects or 
uh, numbers or letters. Okay? So here, we have to visualize this, we need to have an example for this. Okay, let's have this example number one for this uh, I permutation with identical objects. Okay. As Filipinos, we have different traits observed by many. Here are some of these traits. Magalang and makachos. Oh, isa kayo doon, di ba? Let's, let us use these traits in solving permutations. Let's have first the word magalang. Okay. Observe that uh, in this word, you have identical letters. Kung wala man lang sanang magkakaparehong letter dito, ang gagawin mo lang dyan ay 8 factorial lang. Okay, dahil walang magkakaparehong letter. Kunin mo yung sagot sa 8 factorial because we have 8 letters for this word and then uh, that will be your final answer. But this time, we have identical letters. Ano yung magkakaparehong letter dito? We have A and G. Okay? So, kailangan magkakaroon tayo dito ng uh, formula ng identical objects. Okay? So, mayroon tayo dito ng N equals 8. Then, we have our A. First, identical letters. Yung second identical letters, yun ang B. And that is letter G. Mayroon tayong dalawang G at tatlong letter A. So, we have now this N, A, and B, we will just substitute that to our formula. And alam ko, alam nyo na yung kasunod. Okay? So, basic math na lang tayo. After substitution, we have 8 factorial. And then, ang gagawin natin dyan is simplify. 8 factorial is 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Huminto sa 2 factorial. Isang paraan yun ng pag-solve ng gayitong klase ng problem na kung saan nahanap ka ng pwedeng i-cancel sa numerator at denominator. Yung ating denominator ay may 2 factorial, kaya dito, sa halip na maglagay ng 2 and 1, 2 times 1, at sa denominator mamaya, 2 and 1, or 2 times 1, na makakancel din later on, pinag-isa na yon Ginawang 2 factorial na lang. Ayun, para madali ang cancellation. So, we have 2 factorial lang and non, and then sa denominator natin, yung 3 factorial is 3 to 1, multiplied, and then yung 2 factorial is as is, 2 factorial. So that, ang plano, ikakancel natin yung numerator and denominator na may 2 factorial. At kapag ginawa nyo yung cancellation, ang matitira dyan, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, multiplied, and then denominator, 3 times 2 times 1, you are going to divide both, you will get an answer now which is equal to 3,360 ways. I hope nasundan yan. Okay, madali lang naman, di ba? Pag identical. Okay, so let's proceed now to the next. Paano yung sa word na makadyos? Okay. Sa makadyos, ang n natin dyan ay 9. At ang first letter na, first identical letter natin ay yung a, which appeared 2 times. Okay. Kaya ang a natin dyan ay 2. Mayroon ba tayong b? Mayroon pa ba tayo ditong same identical letters? Of course, there's none. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin, hanggang dyan lang tayo, and then substitute na tayo sa formula. O, oh, ba Madali lang. After that, eto na po yung ating maging solution. At katulong kayo na, once na nag-simplify tayo, doon sa ating denominator, may 2 factorial dito. So, kailangan mag-end tayo doon sa taas ng may 2 factorial din o sa numerator para madali yung cancellation. Although, pwede nating ituloy, tapos dadami lang yung pwede i-cancel. Okay? So, we have this. Ayan. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 times 2 factorial. And then, over 2 factorial. Cancel this. We have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, which will give you an answer which is equal to, correct, 181,440 checks. Okay, pwede din natin yung tignan in this one. In uh, For this problem, somewhat an application of this lesson. Ayan. Let's try to have this. Tatay Eddie has three children. Okay, oh, we have Elon, May, and Arlene. He assigned them to wash the dishes each night of the week. At the beginning of each week, he prepared a schedule. Ayan. If Elon is assigned to wash the dishes three times, okay, and May and Arlene are both assigned twice or two times, how many different schedules 
are possible. So, ang tanong dito, how many different schedules or how many different ways? Dahil nabanggit doon yung ways, ah, permutation na naman. Kaya lang, magagamit ba, dito nat magamit ba natin yung linear permutation? Okay, hindi po natin pwedeng gamitin. Bakit? Kasi mayroon dito lumilitaw na same or identical. Okay, para kay Elon at para kay May at Arlene. Yan kasi, pwede natin isulat yan or try to put that in another way. We can write that in this form. E, E, E. Sinulat natin ang letter. Okay, para madali tayo. And then, that is for Elon. Then, M, M for May and A, A for Arlene. Kasi, two times lang yung dalawa. Okay? And then, after that, magkakaroon na tayo dito ng uh, N ng A para kay Elon, B for May, and C for uh, Arlene. And then, we can use or apply now our formula for identical objects, right? Okay, ganun lang pala kasimple yun. Okay, so for this substitution, we can have 7 factorial over 3 factorial times, 2 factorial times, 2 factorial. And then continue simplifying, we have 7, 6, 5, 4. Mahihinto sa 3 factorial dahil may 3 factorial tayo sa denominator. And then we have 2 factorial times 2 factorial done. Magkakaroon tayo ng cancellation na mas madali, yung 3 factorial makakancel. Ang matitira sa numerator ay 7, 6, 5, 4. Multiply nyo yan. At sa denominator, 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Another 2 factorial is 2 times 1. Multiply them all. You will get an answer. Divide both your answers from the numerator and denominator. You will get a final answer which is equal to correct. Ang sagot natin doon ay 210 possible schedules. Ayon. O, di ba madali lang? Mm -mm. Mas madali, di ba, ang identical objects. Okay? Or permutations with identical objects. I hope na sundan yan. Okay. Uh, for this, uh, next, arrangement with restriction. Dito kasi sa lesson na ito, o sa mga problems na to magkakaroon tayo ng napakarami examples because we have different cases. Okay? So, I will take this for the part 2 of this uh, video lesson tutorial. Okay? See you on part 2. Uh, ang pag-aaralan natin doon ay arrangement with restriction. Okay?